to my channel. If you are new, my name is Sarah and I make lifestyle and beauty related content here on the lovely World Wide Web. And I would love it if you guys were to subscribe and like this video. But if you are reoccurring, hi, hello, do the same thing. Leave a comment and leave a like. Today, obviously by the title, I wanted to do ways to get PR. So I feel like I have some knowledge about this. I like to consider myself an influencer here on YouTube, not by numbers, but just have everything that I've accomplished so far. If you don't know, a couple of months ago, I went to an Estee Lauder event, which was my first ever PR event that they invited me as the Daily Dose of Sarah. I've just accomplished a lot of things. I figured I'm gonna sit down with you guys today and do a little how to get PR and how to like, like expose yourself to brands and companies because like I said, when I first started on YouTube, I was like kind of timid. I didn't really know what I was doing with my channel, which I could talk about that in a later video. I know I wanted to review product. I don't really know where the turning point was where I was like, okay, I can reach out to companies and companies will reach out to me. So this might be all over the place. I, okay, my first experience with a brand that I had, ooh, it was like a scam, 100% scam. They're like, oh, order these clothes and you just type in, you just pay for shipping. I was like, perfect. So, you know, time passed. I paid $25, I think, for shipping for like 15 items and I didn't get it. So they scammed me for like 20 bucks, 25, whatever it turned out to be, which I was kind of like, okay, this is too good to be true. And honestly it was, I'm like, that's unrealistic. I kind of stay away from clothing companies when I'm trying to reach out. So what I normally do is like what I started to find that works for me. I would go through all the brands that I followed and brands that I really truly like. Like I don't want to fill my collection up with stuff that I don't love or have no purpose of using because it just becomes clutter. I go through products and companies that I like and I will DM them on Instagram. You know, you can like slide into their DMs and I just say, hey, um, I love your company, I've used this product. I sometimes I'll like specify a product that I've used. So I like to send that email and I will send a lot. I've seen a lot of channels that do like, I sent 100 um, emails, no 100 DMs to 100 companies. It's not a bad idea. Uh, I think it's like, it's not excessive at all. Like some people might think it's excessive. Everybody has their own opinions. I don't think it's excessive. So like I was saying, I will just slide into their DM. I would just be like, hey, I would love to collab with you guys on a spring um, collaboration, which it's spring now. So that's what I've been doing in my emails. Sometimes they will just shoot you back an email saying, oh, we're not interested right now, but we'll, like, we'll get your information and we'll keep in touch. Or sometimes they will be like, use our website to find the link. Or sometimes they will just give you a contact directly, which is really helpful. When I do get collaborations and I work with people, I take cue cards and I write down the company on the front and on the back side, I will write the email, the contact, what they sent and what I have to do. That way I know if I go back, I can be like, okay, this was a really good relationship I had with this company. I can go back and kind of like keep in contact with them. Normally on like the Instagram little profile, you can see like the email button, which I will click that and I will just send them an email, which I have a media kit. I just use Canva and I type in how many, like I have a cute little paragraph that kind of just says like what I can do for you, them as an influencer and what I have accomplished and who I've worked with. And then on the bottom, I like to put my subscriber count for YouTube, my Instagram, my monthly views. I think I have that on there as well. And then I'll put like, hello, um, I'm just wondering if you would like to collaborate with me on a spring collaboration or if I'm doing like a specific type of thing. Bottom, I just say, I hope to hear from you soon and I would love to work with you best, Sarah, you know? So send that off. And sometimes an automatic email will come back and they will say like, no, sorry, we're not interested. Or it will be like, someone will get back to you in 24 to 48 hours. So a couple of days later, someone will send you be like, hey, use this email. So they'll send you an email. Half the time it's like PR at whatever. <laughs> Lastly is to in your area. So I live in a really small town and the next town over is smaller. And then the big city next to us is Toronto. So Toronto is like an hour and a half out, but that is the next largest city to me. So I like to Google PR companies in Toronto for makeup or just like PR companies in general. And normally they will like come up with a list of PR companies that are in that area. And then you just go to their website, find the a contact and you can just copy and paste the email. Or sometimes they have like a little info section where you like you type in your name, email. I want to say like maybe like they ask for your YouTube channel or something like that. And then you, a little message and then some will get back to you but PR companies are really super nice I like to try to find smaller PR firms or bigger PR companies either one I've worked with both of them which is really exciting and I like to like keep up that 
um, brand relationship. But uh, PR companies are really good. You can go see who they've worked with. They will take your information and if they're not interested or if they don't have anybody, like any companies they can, um, I forget what the word is, but they can like send out your information to companies that they work with or like companies, you know what I mean? So that's that's probably how that happened, kind of just like chained it out, which is fine. Shopped around, is that the word? I don't really know. But that's another really exciting thing about PR companies. Honestly, I never thought about looking at PR companies until I think I watched a couple of YouTube videos and I was like, that makes sense. Why aren't I reaching out to PR companies? Because big brands like Anastasia Beverly Hills, I think they do their own PR and they don't really have like a PR company. I'm not sure though. Don't quote me on that one. There's so many opportunities out there and if you don't reach out and I don't think you should be ashamed to reach out to companies at all because that's what you want your job to be. Well, I mean like that's what I want my job to be essentially. They want exposure and that's what I'm here to do. I'm here to give you guys my knowledge on product as much as they want their product out there, obviously for sales and revenue and that kind of stuff. Um, Don't be ashamed if you reach out to companies because why not? You know, you don't know until you try and if you get rejected, it's okay. That's just one person, but don't let it discourage you. Keep on going and keep following your passion. And I'm just going on a little tangent here, but so that's going to conclude this video. Uh, make sure to subscribe because I'm going to do more videos like this in the future. So just stay tuned for that. Give this video a thumbs up if you liked it, if it helped. And if you guys have any tips, leave them down in the comments so you guys can check them all out as well. Like I said, like, come subscribe and I will see you guys in my next video. Thanks so much for watching. the world wide web and if you are no my name is sarah and i make lifestyle and content um but yeah so so make sure <sighs>